Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at data inferences. This is part of our study of problem solving and data analysis on the SAT math portion. As always, we're going to be looking at five questions and their intricacies to help you ace this portion of the SAT math section. If you like these videos or find them informative, please be sure to like and subscribe. And with that, let's get started on our first question. Here it is. A recent study reports that of the 122.8 million households in the U.S., 6.5% have only landline phones. The marginal area is 0.2% at the 95% confidence level. Based on the study, which the following best estimates at the 95% confidence level, the number of U.S. households that have only landline phones. So at this confidence level, we have 6.5% are estimated to have landline, only landline phones. The margin of error is 0.2%. It really could be anywhere from 6.3% to 6.7% of that total, which is 122.8 million. So we take, oh shoot, let's think of a better seven right here. 6.7. And then let's take 6.3%, 6.3% of 122.8 million, and we get 7.7 .7 million. Then we take the 6.7% of the 122. 0.8 million, and we get 8.2 million. So we go from 7.7 million to 8.2 million. So that is the answer for today, as you can see. And let's move on to the next question. All right, here we are. So question number two, a random sample of 500 residents of a town included 173 residents who primarily spoke a language other than English at home with a margin error of 25 residents and a confidence level of 98%. If the town has 25,000 residents, how many residents primarily speak a language other than English at home at a 97% confidence level? We have a margin of error of 25 residents. out of, and then we said that 173 out of the five, 500 speak uh, differently other than English, mostly. So since we have a margin of 25 residents, this could be anywhere from 173 minus 25, which is 148, and it goes to 173 plus 25, which is 198. And this is per the 500 people in the study. Well, the 25,000 residents, that's going to be 500 times uh, 50. So basically, we're going to multiply both of these by 50 times 50, because the sample size is 500, and we're multiplying that one by 50. Right? So 148 times 50 is just going to be uh, 700 or 7,400. And then 198 times 50 is just going to be 9,900, 7,400 to 9,400, which is answer choice A. And we can move on to our next question. All right, question number three, here we are. By the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, 80.5% of the participants had healthy levels of high density lipoprotein or HDL cholesterol, and the estimate has a margin of error of 1.5% at a confidence level of 95%. The participants were a random sample of the United States US residents. If the US population at the time of the study was, 100, was 316 million people, what is the estimate at a 95% confidence level of the number of people in the US with healthy levels of HDL cholesterol? So 80.5% healthy levels, the margin of error at our confidence level is 1.5%. So we're going from 79% up to 82%. So 
Uh, so we take that both of those out of the 316 million people and we get that 79% of the 316 million people is 250 million. Then we take the 82% of the 316 million and that gives us 259 million people. So our estimate is now 250 million to 259 million, which is answer choice C. So that's our answer. Let's keep going. All right, next question. A medical school student estimates that all medical st school students sleep for eight, five to eight hours each night at the 80% confidence level, which the following is a reasonable estimate of the number of hours medical school students sleep each night at the 95% confidence level. Well, let's see how we do this. Well, at 80% confidence level, right, what do we know? Well, at the 80% confidence level, we know that the margin of error is going to be less than the margin of error at the 95% confidence level. As your confidence level goes up, your margin of error also goes up. And what do we, how do we find the margin of error? Well, we have five to eight hours. So we can say that our estimate, our real estimate, is going to be 6.5 hours right in the middle. And our, our margin of error is 1.5 hours. So plus minus 1.5 hours. That's the margin of error. And as we increase confidence level, this 1.5 hours is going to go up. Right? That our margin of error is going to go up. So essentially, we want something that is centered at 6.5. So essentially, if we add up these two numbers, we get 13, or 6.5 times 2, so we get 13. And the margin of error should be bigger than 1.5. So one should one of them should be less than what five one of them should be greater than eight and we can see that answer choice d does not work because it doesn't add to 13. answer choice a is just the 6.5 itself the initial thing but not the uh not the actual uh thing including the margin of error and then we see that uh six to seven hours has a shorter margin of error than the of the five to eight as we only uh, that only has a margin of error of 0 0.5 hours. So our answer is going to be three to 10 hours. It adds up to 13 and its margin of error is going to be three and a half hours, which is greater than the initial margin of error as we increase the confidence level. And that's our answer. Let's move on to the next question. All right, and here it is. Let's see, we have a data, science a data scientist estimates at the 75% confidence level, uh, players of the hit game Super Panda Panic play for two to four hours each week. So the following is a reasonable estimate of the weekly play time at the 95% confidence interval. So we're going from two to four, and we're going to do the same thing we did last time. So our estimate is three hours, and the margin of error is one hour. Since we're increasing the confidence level, 95%, the margin of error increases. So we need to add to six. But the distance, the distance from three has to be greater, margin of error has to be greater than one hour. Since we increase confidence level from 76 to 96. And looking at our answer choices, the only one that fulfills this is answer choice B, one to five hours. So that's our answer, and we're done. So as you can see here, the, uh, the da about data inferences, there are really a couple of main ideas that you need to remember, and that's it. So the main, the main ideas that we have here are that if we increase the confidence interval, we increase the margin of error. If we decrease the confidence, confidence interval, we decrease the margin of error. And uh, if, we, if, we're given, if, we, if we're given an estimate and a margin of error, then we need to find the lower, the lowest point and the highest point to get a real estimate of what the number could actually be. That is it for this topic, and I'll see you next time.